everyone, my name is Marie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build. So in order to celebrate the fact that The Sims base game is going free, I thought I would upload a um, base game starter home today. So I actually built this one over on stream a little while ago, like a few weeks ago, I think. Um, and I decided to upload it today because, yeah, you know, the Sims base game is going free for everyone to enjoy. And I figured the best way to celebrate that would be to actually upload a little house for everyone to use. Because this is a base game starter home. You can move your Sims in here right off the bat. Um, you'll have a little bit of money to spare which is also very nice. And yeah, it's it's very cheap. It's it's very empty. Um, I will say base game starter homes aren't my favorite to build because you're so limited. It's a nice challenge though, I won't lie. I really enjoyed it. And especially since I built this one on stream, it was a lot of fun to just build it together. Um, but yeah, it's always just such a challenge to make it look cute and also have a little bit of money left because you don't want to like move in here and have literally zero simoleons. I think you're not going to have a lot left though, but with the base game going free, there is, um, there was, there was an update recently where they added, oh God, what's her name? I think her name is Emily. And she was added in for new players. Um, Emily basically just takes you through the game and like explains stuff and create a sim and in build mode and just in live mode, I think as well. Um, so Emily is there to help you. And if if you finish the tutorial in create a sim, um, I think you're gonna get an extra 5,000 simoleons um, for your starter budget, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like it was something like that. So if you finish that, that's a little tip for you. If you actually finish that, then you're definitely going to have a little bit of money left when you first purchase this house. Um, so as you can see, I built this little house in Willow Creek. There is, I believe a starter home on this lot by default when you first load into Willow Creek. I think there is a starter home on this lot. Um, and if you don't like that one, then you can easily replace it with this one because I feel like this one is actually pretty cute. I'm pretty proud of what I did with this one. Um, it has two bedrooms, two bathrooms, which is pretty nice if you ask me, though I do think the bathroom downstairs for now is only a half bathroom and then the bathroom upstairs is a full bathroom. That one, the one upstairs only has a um, a tub and no shower because I uh, I felt like a shower tub combo was gonna be too expensive, but then if you're gonna have like a toddler in this house, then you wanna be able to bathe them. So I figured, you know what? Let's just place a tub and call it a day. I might've placed a shower downstairs, but I don't think so. I think that one is just a half bath. Um, so yeah, it's basically the definition of a starter home. I also did not go ham with like landscaping, debug free plants. Um, I didn't really do, I did do a little bit of landscaping. I definitely used some debug items to make it look a little bit more like full and just prettier. But for the rest, it's really just the definition of a starter home. Um, you could do to it whatever you want to do. You could swap out the furniture easily. Um, you can change the colors, you can add to it and like add personality because the house as of right now just doesn't really have any personality, which makes sense for a starter home because you want to be able to adjust it to what you like and to like your Sims needs um, and their personalities basically. So that is kind of what I kept in mind and what I did for this house. So yeah, the interior is really sad, but then again, it's supposed to be because it's a starter home. I feel like I'm making up excuses now, but also I was really just trying to go for that base game, starter home look and feel, but then a little bit nicer than the EA ones. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude, um, but that is just kind of what I felt like doing for this build. And I think I succeeded. Also um, today, I think, I don't know, I think that Sims Summit live stream that's very scary is happening on the day that I'm uploading this, which is Tuesday. Today, when I'm recording this, it's Sunday, so it, it hasn't happened yet. If this video is going up after the Sims Summit, then we all already know what um, what they talked about and what happened basically as I'm recording this. I don't, so um, I'm, I can't cover that because, you know, I can't see in the future. Um, so I, I don't know, but I'm very excited about it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm very scared. It's very hyped up. Um, they even sent out like PR packages for it to the uh, game changers or EA creators they're called these days. Um, 
yeah, it's it's very hyped up. And then we also have a couple kit leaks, which is very exciting. Maybe they will talk about that as well. But yeah, I don't at this point, I don't know what they're going to talk about in the Sims Summit. Is it going to be The Sims 5? Is it going to be, I don't know, a timeline for upcoming packs? Is it going to be what is it going to be? A lot of people seem to think it's Sims 5. I personally would be so surprised if they would give us a release date or something for The Sims 5. A logo or telling us officially that they're working on it is something I am expecting. Like, I would not be surprised if that if that is what it is. But yeah, at the same time, it doesn't really make any sense for me to talk about this right now, because as you're watching this video, chances are the summit has already happened. And I don't know. <laughs> so it makes no sense maybe for me to talk about it right now. But I'm very excited. It's Sunday today. The new week is almost here and the Sims Summit is all I can think about. I'm scared, nervous, excited, but also I just really want to know what's going on. So yeah, I'm done with speculating now because there is literally no point in me speculating about it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I'm very excited about it. And in the meantime, you can see this house come together. Oh God, I was struggling so much with the kitchen. It's so sad looking because I have no money. I have no budget. And then the master bedroom for this house is so big, but I couldn't fill it because I just did not have the budget for it. So um, yeah, as you can see, the uh, upstairs bathroom just has a tub, a sink and a toilet, which is a little bit annoying that there's no shower in this house. You can obviously sell the tub and replace it for a shower. Like that is definitely something you could do. Um, I don't know. I felt like it was funny though to just do like a, a tub in the in the starter home. It's it's pretty classic EA if you ask me. Um, so that's what I went for. And then here upstairs in the master bedroom, I was definitely playing around with the window situation because it was driving me crazy. Um, but I figured it out in the end. And then I um, played placed a little wardrobe in here, like a modern looking one, very Ikea-ish. And then I also placed a desk. The desk does not have a computer because no, no, we did not have the money for it. This house doesn't have a computer or a TV, which is a little bit annoying, but I did want it to be two bedroom, um, two bathrooms. So yeah, I needed to sacrifice something. So sadly, no uh, TV and no computer. We do have a bookcase in here. Um, so that is something you can use to get your fun up quite fast as well. There is also a few gardening pots um, in the backyard and stuff. So there's definitely some activities for you to do as well. And then these days with the likes and dislikes, if your Sim likes cooking, then they just get their fun up from cooking dinner or making breakfast every day, which is so very useful in my opinion. And like, if they like gardening, just plant a couple things in the flower pots and you're good to go. Or just go to work for one day and then you'll have the money to buy either a TV or a computer. I feel like the TV, like the cheapest TV is so cheap. Um, you're gonna have enough money for that pretty fast, I feel like. Um, so yeah, some sacrifices were made for this house um, in order for it to be two bedroom, two bathroom. Um, but that is just what it is. For the rest, I really like how this came out. I was playing around with terrain paint a little bit here because I was actually working off of a reference photo that I found and it had this very interesting pathway situation and I thought to recreate that for this one. I, I think it just turned out very cute. Um, the pathway driveway situation is a little bit random, but I just really like how it turned out for this one. I like how it looks. And at the same time, I was really trying to build something that would fit in with Willow Creek, like fit into this neighborhood seamlessly. And I feel like that is exactly what this house does, basically. It is that exact style of house. I have no clue what you would call this style of house. Like, I really don't know, but it fits in with the rest of Willow Creek. And then specifically this little starter, smaller lot neighborhood, basically. It just goes seamlessly, in my opinion. So I was very happy about that. But here you can see I was doing some landscaping with only debug trees and plants because no, no, I did not have the money to buy plants from the catalog. And I tend to like the debug ones better anyway. There is something about them, the way they look, the texture, it's just different and I just like it better. Yeah, and then here you can see I placed some debug planter boxes as well with some flowers in it and some like vines on the side of the house to just fill it up a little bit. Um, yeah, so it, it's very simple, very easy, but yeah, very easy for you to also download and place in your game. You can, you can just use it right off the bat. Um, and I'm just so excited that the Sims 4 base game is going free. 
It's going to be available to so many people that otherwise wouldn't be able to play The Sims 4, and I'm just so excited about that. Um, so many new players will be introduced to this game, and it's going to be so much fun. So yeah, that is basically it for this build, and let's quickly jump into the game, and I will show you the house in real time. So here we have the house in the game. As you can see, it's very much fall in my game right now, and I really, really love how this house looks in the fall with all these autumn colors in the background. It's really nice. Obviously, you need to have The Sims four seasons for it in order to be fall in your game but I'm just gonna keep it like this for now because I just think it's really pretty but yeah this is the house this is the exterior it's very simple it's just a box with a roof on top but I feel like it just looks nice on this lot we have this side yard situation with some plants and some planter pots for your sim to use and then on the front porch we have another one so if you want to plant something that needs to be undercover then you can use that one and we also have the outdoor bin over there but then when we go into the the house like I said it's a very sad and very small and there's not a lot going on but this is the interior so we have a little entryway that is I don't know it still looks kind of cozy we have this end table over here with some books on it and then the living room situation um, no TV sadly but we do have a bookcase and then over here we have the kitchen the kitchen is pretty spacious as of right now it's very empty, which makes sense for a starter home, but it's pretty spacious. So we have a lot of counter space. We have a nice dining table. And then off of the kitchen, we have a teeny tiny little half bathroom. Then when we go upstairs, we have the landing. The landing is literally empty, but it's also very narrow. So there is not a whole lot of space for stuff anyway. Then in here, we have the master bedroom. This is definitely the largest bedroom and it is quite spacious. Um, so you could easily turn this into a bedroom slash office office, which is kind of what I suggested by placing this desk in the corner. No computer though, sadly, but you can always just save up for that pretty easily. Then over here we have the second bedroom. This one has a more blue color scheme, as you can see. Um, this one has like a single bed and a little mirror in the corner. I specifically didn't turn this into a kid's bedroom because, I don't know, maybe you want to start out by being roommates at first, or maybe you're going to have three adult sims living in this house, like a couple and a sibling or what have you like that's also definitely possible and also toys can be pretty expensive but obviously you can just sell these items and turn it into a kid's room if you needed to and then here we have the upstairs full bathroom so this one has a tub a sink and a toilet also some toilet paper but for the rest it is extremely sad but that is basically it for this build so this base game starter is up on the gallery it comes in at just over 18,000 simoleons which is nice because the lot itself, I think, costs 1,500 simoleons. So your sims are definitely going to be able to move into this house right away, which is really nice. I built it on a 20 by 15 in the world of Willow Creek. So if you want to place it in your game, then that is where it goes. But that is going to do it for this video. So I really hope that you enjoyed this build. You can obviously go ahead and download it off the gallery like I just showed you. My username on the gallery is Simmery Sims. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram if you'd like. My username on there is Simmery Sims as well. If if you're not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to do so. And if you want to be notified of every single time I upload a video, just click that little bell icon and you should be fine. I also live stream over on Twitch a few times a week. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and give me a follow over on twitch.tv forward slash Samurai Sims. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.